All right, so in my opinion, there is nothing that separates a nice lawn from a mulch bed better than a nice, clean, deep, natural edge. So today I'm gonna show you how I achieve this look with a simple tool you can find from your big box store. So if you're somebody who doesn't really care for the curved look or the shape here that I have going on, I absolutely love this. But if you're not into that, you just want a straight mulch bed, uh, it's gonna be very simple for you. So stay tuned, follow along, and let's get to it. So there are basically two main ways that I know of that people like to plan out the shape of their mulch bed. If you have a different one that I don't mention, please leave it down below, I'd love to check it out. But the first one, um, you can buy spray paint, kind of marking spray paint, I think it's an orange color. Um, and you can just kind of spray paint on the grass your design. I don't necessarily like this because I'm not very artistic and so if I mess up the spray paint it's very hard to fix that because once you spray it, it's there. The second way and the way that I prefer to do it, I think it's very simple and you should have the item already at your house. I am using this half moon edger here. This is what I think is the best and easiest tool to use. This is gonna give you the cleanest, straightest edge. Um, some people like to use a flat shovel, um, but even flat shovels have a curve at the end, so you're not gonna get a perfectly straight line like you will with this right here. All I'm doing here is just flopping my hose out and I'm just shaping it into the spot that I want it. So you can move the hose anywhere you want it you decide this is your bed you decide how you want it but here i'm putting mine in this little shape around this mulch bed all i'm doing is taking the half moon edger sticking it in so that it is straight that's what she said and i'm gonna wiggle it left wiggle it right wiggle it forward a little bit and then you're just gonna slide to the right and repeat this process and you're gonna repeat this process all the way around the mulch bed until you get back do not fling the dirt out before moving and doing the whole mulch bed because you will not get a clean cut and it just will not turn out as nicely as it would if you do the whole wiggle, wiggle, wiggle all the way around the mulch bed. So once you get all the way around the mulch bed with the half moon edger, you're gonna come back from the other side and you can either use the half moon edger for this or if you have a flat shovel, that works too. And you're going to put it on an angle and you're going to push it in and meet the very bottom edge of where you just use the half moon edger. And that is gonna give you this V look that you see here. Um, and that is just gonna give you a much cleaner mulch bed. And so. Um, the point of the deep V like this is you're going to put the mulch and the mulch is going to meet the bottom corner of this and it's going to keep the um, bed exposed or the edge exposed there, the dirt. And what that's going to do, it's going to look a lot better. It's going to be easier to maintain um, throughout the year, which I'm going to show you at the end of this video how I maintain that throughout the year. And it is also going to allow um, or kill, I guess, the weeds that are going to try to come in your mulch bed. How you doing? Good. You up taking pictures? Uh, I have a YouTube channel about lawn care, uh -huh. so I'm filming a video. Oh, cool. Yeah. <laughs> no worries. 
So now we're in the front and I want to show you how I redefine the edge at the start of each year. And you may have to do this, um, you know, one or two more times throughout the year. I usually just do it in the spring, um, but it's the exact same process that you're going to use. I'm using the half moon edger. It goes very quickly. No big deal. Once you have your beds edged with the half moon edger, uh, it looks really good, uh, very crafty, so crispy. Um, but you do have to maintain it throughout the year. You will get grass blades that grow over the edge, kind of like this right here. And so I want to show you how I maintain those with my string trimmer. And so used to when I first started this, I wasn't as good at the height. And so I would do this after I mowed because I want the height of the edge to be the same height as the mow. But now after some practice, I have gotten good at it and I do this before I mow. So all you're gonna do, I like to walk with the edge of the bed to my right because my string trimmer spins counterclockwise and it throws the clippings to the left and this way I am not throwing clippings into the bed. I'm going to come back through with the string trimmer turned upside down with the strings facing up and down straight up and down and you're just going to walk to the left trimming the edge of the bed. All right so that is it. That is how you edge your mulch beds using a simple tool from your big box store. I think they look really, really good. I love it. I think there is nothing that separates grass from mulch beds better than a natural edge. I just, you can't convince me otherwise. It looks so good, so clean, so crafty. So if you have any questions or if you have any comments, leave them down below. Thank you guys for watching. Be sure and hit the subscribe button. I'd really appreciate it. I've got to clean these beds out and get some flowers and plants in there and then some mulch. That is it. We'll see you next time.